And we take a look backstage for our main event, Steve Jez, left of screen. Tosca Petridis, right of screen. The battle of the legends between these two titans coming up shortly. Stay tuned. Listen to the raise the roof. It can only mean one thing. Make his way to the ring, the former world champion, Steve Jez. He is going to set Liverpool alight. And earlier on, we spoke to Mr. Steve Jez. I've trained for six weeks and uh, I'm coming here to fight, fight in front of my crowd. So, yeah, training's been good. Oh, and make his way to the ring. The former seven-time champion of the world. Being led by the Silver Fox, Paul Fifield. The one, the only Tosca Petrini. Earlier on, we caught up with Tosca. Oh, I'm pretty prepared. I'm actually looking forward to it because um, I haven't kickboxed for a while, a few years actually, because I've been boxing. But I'm looking forward to it. So I've been prepared for probably the last six to eight months. Kicking with my legs. Haven't done it for a while. Out of the red corner... He's fought Stan the Man, has an impressive record, kickboxing and boxing. He's the 1998, he fought him with a controversial decision. He's the WKBF Cruiserweight Champion, which he won against Graham Barker in 1998. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Chan! His opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, needing no introduction to those of kickboxing, a former seven-time world title holder, lightweight, super middleweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight. Having had three lightweights, one super lightweight, two cruiserweights, and two heavyweight titles, currently boxing the Australian cruiserweight champion. He's had 64 fights for 58 wins. Ladies and gentlemen from Victoria, Melbourne, Tosca, Katrina! Reno and Bruno calls both men in the centre of the ring, Hammer, and we are ready. Questions, any questions on the rules at all? Excellent. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my instructions. If I say stuff will go, it's take one step back. What I'm talking about fighters, police corners, do, don't interfere. Uh, I want a good, clean fight, no pushing, shoving, kissing is allowed if you want to. Any questions? Touch gloves, good luck to both. Well, a bit of comedy there from uh, Reno Lebruno in centre ring. Good to hear he's uh, light-hearted about this one. Super prestige heavyweight. It doesn't get any more prestige than this one. Tosca Prestrid is the king of sting, Michael. The battle of the legends, quite rightly so. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're watching, the time for talk is over. And a big hello to all the boys down there. Christensen's motorcycles. Shane McKenzie, number 30 in the 600cc class. He is an absolute legend, but he loves kickboxing. He loves his motorbike racing, and it doesn't get more exciting than this bout taking place right now. You talk about experience, and Steve Jez has gone up against the likes of Stan the Man, Longanides, and Grant Barker. On the other hand, Tosca Petridis has taken on the likes of Rob Carmen, Jean-Yves Theriot and Ira and Barkley in boxing and kickboxing. These are two seasoned war horses, folks. Look out for the handiwork on Tosca Petridis. Look out for the kicks of Steve Chess. That one digging down into the bread basket of Petridis. Well, look at Tosca moving around, light on his feet, inside thigh. The king of sting. He's as quick as a gun. Pow, pow. Tosca Petridis, the outside fly kick. Tosca Petridis bringing up a big contingency uh, from Melbourne. All the boys from the Whiskey Bar, George, Andrew, Ange, they're all here. They, they've come up in their droves from Melbourne. I have to see this man in the red shorts. Tosca Petridis, all big overhand right, just missing there, Michael. Just whistled past the forehead of Steve Jez. Jez backs Petridis back against the ropes. Petridis fires out the outside leg kick to the lead fight. Thought about getting the left leg up high to tuck it into the rib cage. High left round kick there from Petridis. Steve Jez just got it up against it in time. Smiles at Tosca. Says, come on, King of Sting. Give me all the best you've got. Well, Jez, the journeyman. Petridis, the knockout specialist. That is uh, really the tail of the uh, tape for this one. Big body shot there from Tosca Petridis. Michael Chavello ringside with the hammer. Mark Castanuni. Steve Jez decides to trade blows in the handiwork department with Tosca. Right. Right. Petridis comes forward again, dropping left hand down to the midsection there from Jez. High left round kick from Petridis. Outside thigh kick from Petridis, end of round one hammer. 
Well, I tell you what, uh, Petrini's looking the goods. Jez moving uh, very cautiously around. Once again, there's the leg kick landing on, from uh, Tosca, getting in, tying uh, Jez up, not letting him work cleanly. Clever tactics from Petridis. He'll, uh, he'll use his muscle, he'll use his skill, he'll use uh, all those years of experience uh, in his bouts. You won't be able to outbox him. He'll, uh, he'll be in there and he'll be using all sorts of tactics and uh, angles on Jez. Harpe Nuranoa with some solid words for Mr. Steve Jez in the red corner. Meanwhile, the Silver Fox Paul Firefield in the blue corner with Tosca Petridi. Reno Lebruno, the Mr. Comedian and referee about to get us underway in the second round. He's waiting for Reno's next one liner. Yes, he looks like one of the characters off Everybody Loves Raymond, Hammer. <laughs> Reno Lebruno. Oh, he's so he's he's big right hand there by Jez. Oh, high right round kick by Jez. Then Linear going. We're turning up the adrenaline at the Whitland Centre. Body shots there from Tosca. Inside fire kick from Tosca. Petridi's putting it together well, but Jez uh, has oh, come with... Oh, chopping leg kick by Petridi's was a cracker. Jez coming a little bit stronger in this the second round, taking it up to Petridi's now. Steve Jez showing no respect for the former seven-time world champion. You've got to remember that Jez has got a big supporter base here. It's the last time he's going to fight. He's going to want to go out on the winning note. So he's got everything to uh, to fight for. He's got a lot of pressure on him here, Steve Jez, to win this one. Hammer Tosca doing an absolute number on the lead five, Steve Jez. Jez hasn't kicked any, oh, checked any of those kicks thus far. And he's got to be careful because Tosca can really tenderize the lead five. Goes oh, to the outside a, rear thigh that time. Step across round kick there. Working uh, both thighs now. He's trying to cork up both legs of Jez. Look at the boxing guard on Tosca Petridis when he gets in close. All tied up, nowhere to go. Reno LeBruno telling them to fight out of there. There was the first leg check from, from Steve Jez. A clash of high left round kicks by both men. Tosca just smiles at him, says, come on, Jez. Is that all you got for me, son? I've taken the best shots from Carmen and Johnny Terrio and Iran Barkley and the rest. Even Ernesto Hoost has gone to town with Tosca Petridis. Well, Petridis has been around forever. And uh, someone who also is, uh, will be sitting uh, at home watching this one with a lot of interest will be Bob Jones, the founder of Aussie Kickboxing, the who, uh, who had uh, Tosca fighting on his cards oh so many years ago. I thought you'd make uh, anyone up here. Oh, the big left hook from Steve Jones! He tagged him with that one. Tosca felt it. You can bet on it. Well, Tosca will wear it. He's taking a lot of hooks unless he's going to knock him out. It's well, not there you go, the end of the second round of action, we go to the towels, Hammer, how do you see it? A strong one for well, Jez. Well, th that one evened out a bit, first round for Trudy. second one's evened out just a tad. Pretty much, uh, Jez landed a couple of good left hooks. Petridi's really uh, scored well with those low kicks. Once again, you see that uh, left hook that caught Petridi. He wore it, swatted it off, and again, he got caught with two consecutive left hooks. He's got to keep that uh, right hand up. He's keeping his uh, left hand up on his uh, jawline. Well, he's, sorry, his right hand up, but he's keeping uh, that uh, right hand side of his face open, and that's where Jez has picked now, and he's uh, tagging him with that left hook there, Steve Jez. We are ready to roll in the third round of action. This one's set for six. It is a heavyweight contest between the legends. Steve Jez fighting for the last time in Sydney, and Tosca Petridis, the former seven-time world champion. High left round kick caught on the forearms there by Petridis. Snappy jab by Tosca, inside thigh kick by Jez, overhand right there by Tosca. Good lead check by Tosca. We should also mention Tosca Petridis, Sam Greco's main sparring partner down there at the yes, Underworld indeed. Gym in Melbourne. Obviously, uh, Paul Firefield working with guys down there. Oh, big right hand by Jez! Right in front of our commentary position, Tosca ties him up. While Steve Jez, when he sees the opening, is flying in there with the handiwork hammer. He's, he's landing the punches. Punch for punch in that in that little exchange. Outside thigh kick by Tosca, just chopping down the lead leg of Steve Jez. Jez ties him up. Uppercuts to the midsection there from Tosca Petridis. Inside thigh kick from Petridis. Reno Bruno separates both men. It's the third of six rounds. We're almost halfway through. All tied up again, outside thigh kick by Petridi to that lead leg again. He's landing that outside thigh kick on the break. You've got to be scoring that up. Referee separates both men once more. The legends battling it out in censoring. Big right hand was telegraphed by Steve Jez. Tosca saw it coming a mile away. Went for the inside thigh kick. Catch him on top of the noggin with the right hand. Snappy jab, uppercut, round kick combination there from Petridi's. 
Oh, a beautiful snappy jab from Steve Jez. Patrice never saw it coming. Nice combo there from Jez. He's stringing his combinations. Uh, Great handle here tonight. Well. Good punching yeah, skills from Jez. Really sharp in the hand skills, uh, Jez. Tosca's got to unload with those hands that he's so renowned for. And to think that Tosca Petridis was once a super middleweight hammer. Well, he's certainly uh, done the rounds of the weight divisions. Sweeping in some naked by Jez. Petridis comes over the top of the right hand. Ties him up against the ropes. There's the end of the third round hammer. Well, Jez uh, getting stronger as this one's going along. Petridis uh, started the first round looking very well with his hands. He's just got to watch. He's leaving, he's leaving that right hand side of his face open. But just his left hook, he really wants to plaster that right hand to the right hand side of his face a little more, maybe. So again, we just uh, see uh, Petrudis moving out of range, catching Jez with a round kick and tying him up. That's a uh, mark of an experienced fighter. When you're not when you're not comfortable in any exchange, tie up your opponent. Don't let him go to work on you and just stand there. It's be a punching bag. Tie him up. You're out. Of, you were spit out of sorts. These footing got caught into the ropes. Experience says tie up your opponent, but uh, Jez actually looking a little stronger in that round. We are rolling into the fourth round of action set for six. Michael Chavello ringside with the hammer, Mark Castanini. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching. It is Steve Jez versus Tosca Petridis, the Battle of the Legends, brought to you by Dr. Richard Bradford and the International Super Martial Arts League. Outside thigh kick there from Petridis. Snappy jab from Steve Jess. Petridis trying to turn him around for left hook. Outside thigh kick by Jess. Petridis went for the inside thigh kick. Didn't quite come off for him. Step up front kick there from Jez. Petridis ties him up. They tangle in the center of the ring. Neither man working. Short right hands to the side of the head there by Tosca. And the outside thigh kick from Tosca. Snappy jab right hand there from Steve Jez. Drops the left hand down to the bread basket. Tosca just ties him up now in the neutral corner. And Reno LeBruno separates both men. Hammer. Well, this one uh, is evening out quite nicely. Thank you very much. But uh, Jez working well. Petruti's going with him now. And he's turning into a boxing contest in part. Petrudis, uh, the crowd rallying the around Steve Jez now. Interesting tactic, tactic from uh, Petrudis. In close, watch his, he'll throw a hand flurry and he'll stamp that uh, round kick onto the lead fly of Jez on the, just as their uh, exchange Oh, a nice lead left hand it was there by Steve Jez. Tosca ties him up, goes for the outside thigh kick. Inside thigh kick from Tosca. Those have got to be earning him points. Leg check there was well executed by Steve Jez in close. Wore a right hand to the side of the jaw. Jez is not giving an inch to Tosca Petridis. He is showing him no respect whatsoever. Digging into the ribcage of Petridis now. Petridis with the inside thigh kick. Petridis just weaves under the way of the right hand and they are going out at hell for leather. Both fighters uh, tying up on the inside. Basically, they know at range. They're going to be letting some big shots fly. They don't want to do that, so they're tying up. Big outside guy is there from Petridis. Just to make really sure that nothing's again. Going to, no way which shots are going to land. But once again, you see the exchange. They tie up. They work. They tie up. Petridis trying for the front kick to the face. Didn't quite come off. Working on the inside. They go punch for punch on the inside. But on the brakes, Petridis is just rolling that thigh kick in. What round is this one? Fifth. Fifth. Ready. Let's get some sharp hands working on this way. Don't let him lean on you. Get off to the side. You're trying to, but get off clean. And keep kicking that leg, buddy. Don't forget that leg. Okay, don't forget that leg. Kick in the leg. Don't mix it to the hands, mate. Come on, you're right up we're about to get into the penultimate round of action, round number five, the Battle of the Legends, and it has certainly lived up to its height. Well, the corner there, uh, the Fox Paul Fifield, Joe Curcio and uh, Joe D'Angelo working the corner of Tosca Petridis, calling for him not to tie up and work cleanly and land the leg kick as he just did. Petridis, that cagey guard of his again, just waiting with that right hand. There's the overhand, right high left round kick, turning back. That's the Petridis of old hammer. Just a little bit wavered with range, but the, after the, the round kick missed, he threw the turning rear kick just to make sure Jez was going to try and rush in on him to keep him away. Inside fire kick there from Petridis. Jez has got him all tied up, just leaning down on him with his full body weight. 
They'll just fix the loose do. taping on anyway. the glove there of Petridis. Yes, The Silver Fox 4-5 field in the corner, retapes the gloves and we're about to get underway again in the fifth round. Snappy jab there from Steve Jess, Petridis ties him up. Inside thigh kicking close from Petridis, the busier of the two close in on the grab. A little bit of a head butting close there from Steve Jez. Petridis really sucking in the air here in the fifth round, well, Hammer. Both fighters uh, really throwing it, giving it their all. Throwing everything into every punch and kick, trying to take each other out. Holding. Holding. All tied up in the neutral corner. Inside thigh kick there from Jesse. Oh, so back the short so left, left hand. Just stunning, Jess. Jess is holding on there. He got, he got caught with that Steve one. Jess has him. been wobbled. He got caught. That's why he's holding on. Oh, Tosca tags him with the upper gun off the right hand, but Jess now rallying back. Goes down to the body of Tosca. Listen to the crowd erupt now. Tosca wants to get Steve Jess off. Steve Jess is trying to alert. drain him. Just hanging on for the alert. Tosca's tagged him in the fifth round of action. Petridis Jess weighing down listen. on him. Petridis needs to listen to what uh, Fyfield was saying in the corner. Push him up and work at range with those hands because he can catch him with that short left. Jez has been stunned here in the fifth round. Petridis moves forward again. Looping a high right round kick. Well, Petridis just takes one split second to change the tide of this fight. Leaping right hand there from Steve Jez. Uppercut from Petridis, and we've got one more round to go, Hammer. Oh, this one's coming down very, very close, Michael. I'm telling you what, Petridis did stun Jez in that round, but Jez then leant all over him, locked him up. Mark of a smart fighter, and uh, just didn't let Petridis really go to work on him. You see the exchange now, they're tying up in close. Petridis working the inside thigh. Jez just raising his leg to check it out. Inside thigh from Jez, taking Petridis on the knee. And that was that short left that, that uh, just momentarily stunned Jez. You see it right there, that Jez has clung on for dear life. Petridis trying to get him off. But uh, smart, Mark of a smart smart fighter there, Jez. He got clouded, locked himself up with Petridis, and then got enough wind back in the sails to go with him again. So a uh, very tough, brave battle there from, uh, from Steve Jez. There was no doubt that Steve Jez was on rubber leg street in the fifth round. Can Tosca Petridis get the momentum going? Or will Steve Jez dig deep? Will he get the adrenaline pumping? And will he give a fitting finale for his final show in New South Wales? Nice leg check there from Jez at the outside thigh kick. He's already backed himself against the ropes. The high left round kick from Jez. Front kick from Jez. Thigh kick there from Petridis. Petridis ties him up in the blue corner now. Firing down body shots as Petridis then goes upstairs with a short left hook to the side of the head. Clobbering on the ear of Steve Jett. Look at the death and up the former world champion. Well, both boys giving it their absolute all. Two legends of the sport. Two absolute legends. They don't get much bigger than this. Big right hand came close, but no cigar. The big kibosh from Petridis. Tosca Petridis, one of the biggest names in kickboxing in Australia. Melbourne, in certainly. In the world, Hammer. And uh, in the world, indeed, taking on all comers. Even current K1 reigning champion, Ernesto Hoos. Oh, yeah. Outside thigh kick there from Petridis. He's got Jez backed into a corner again. Beautiful body shot from Petridis. This has been Tosca's round so far. And all credit to Steve Jez for stepping up and taking this one. Nice short left hand, just tuck it under the jaw. Steve Jez made him again, but he's really back. They're going at it hammer and tongue. The crowd are out of their seats. As the clock ticks down, we're in the final seconds. Inside thigh kick there from Petridis again. Steve Jez just forcing him back. Petridis has this final round. High right now, he just whistles past the brow of Steve Jez. Jez moves in again, showing no respect for Petridis. That's going to go down to the judges' scorecard. A wild looping right hand from Steve Jez and another from Jez. Petridis just ties him up. Body shot from Petridis. Another body shot from Petridis. Where's the right hand? No, it was a slip, Mark. It's not going anywhere. No! It's not going anywhere. Oh, it was a slip. Right hand hammer. Jeez. Unbelievable. Here comes Tosca again. And there it is. Into the sixth and final round. Well, it's going to the judges. This one's going to the judges, Michael. I thought he'd take it with the right hand. Put my eyes to see. Well, you thought. You know what thought did? <laughs> but anyway, what an exciting power pack.
six rounds of the heavyweight super prestige action we just witnessed. I tell you what, I uh, was on the edge of my seat for that one. Any one of those punches, I tell you what, could have taken uh, taken either fighter out. They were just loading everything up, giving it their all in that last round. Toe to toe on the ropes there. Have a look at the guard of Petridis there. The right hand was locked up. Jez, in turn, went with went with Petridis. Right and left hook for right and left hook. Petridis trying to front kick to get Jez off him. Bit of a slip there. And, uh, his his uh, lead leg just uh, got caught up in the ropes. He was back up. But this one's going to the judges. I tell you what, in Sydney though, anything can and usually does happen. This notorious state they call New South Wales. And the Hammer said anything can and does happen, so do not make any predictions because we're certainly not. I tell you what, score it yourself at home, make a decision, go with that one. That's just as good. Judge Gary Timonello scores the bout 58-59. Judge Billy Sula scores the bout 56-59. Judge George Pellis scores the bout 57-58. And the winner by unanimous decision. Blue corner. Oh, well, there you have it. Tosca. The legend Tosca Petridis has still got it, Hammer. Well, Petridis doing enough work, especially those low leg kicks. Tragedy for uh, Steve Jess, nevertheless, he can always come to Victoria and fight. We'll have him down there, even if New South Wales won't. But, uh, Commiserations from Steve Jess, jubilation for Tosca Petrini. Tosca, you know, I, I've had to watch you over the years fight, and it's been a real pleasure. I sit you in the changing before we came. It's, it's an honour, mate. I mean, how do you feel now after this fight? Oh, mate, I'm a bit tired. I haven't kicked for a while. Uh, you know, I still probably expect me to box him because that's all I've been doing for the last probably six years. And um, so I thought I'd come out something different, you know, and it worked. <laughs> Is that a bit of a strange experience for you? Because, I mean, you kickboxed for a long time, switched to boxing, had some success there. And how about coming back tonight? I mean, wow, it was amazing. Well, mate, you know, kickboxing is my forte, mate, so, you know, I love it. It's like a second nature to me. So, you know, I, I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed being in here. Yeah, you know, I'd like to thank the boys from Melbourne, the Whiskey Bar, Viper Room, all the boys. Thanks very much. My trainer, Paul, um, Joe. Joe, everybody who supported me coming up. Andy, <laughs> thanks guys, and um, this lovely crowd, and Steve as well for um, accepting the fight. Thanks very much, buddy. Will we see you again, Tosca, in New South Wales? Uh, yes, you will, mate. I will be fighting for another year. Ladies and gentlemen, Tosca Petridis, a worthy champion. Give it up, thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. The man they call Tosca, Tarsus Petridis, back in the winner's circle. From myself, Michael Chavello, and my verbal sparring partner, former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion, the Hammer Mark Castanini, thank you for joining us ringside. Congratulations, Tosca, and good night.